Well, that family photo Dominic mentioned is the first we have seen of the Princess of Wales since her abdominal surgery back in January. Here it is again, take a look. It was shared to mark Mother's Day in the UK, but several concerns about the image being manipulated concern the princess's left hand you see there. And as you see, her wedding ring is missing. It's picking holes in everything, aren't they? You know, can't we just get on with life. I couldn't, couldn't say to you, oh, that's been doctored. And in all fairness, she has been ill. Earlier, several papers in the UK suggested an effort to allay concerns over Kate's health had, quote, backfired. Now, as we heard, the princess took to social media to explain what happened. Here's the quote. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. Let's discuss this a little bit and bring in Janelle Aldred. You all know her. She's an author and a journalist and always a pleasure having you on. Janelle, thank you for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. Uh, what was your reaction when you started to see reaction to this photo grow? I must admit, I first saw it on Twitter and or X, as it's now known. Sorry, living in the past. But <laughs> the thing is, when I first saw it on um, on X, you know, usual people, you know, when people put out photos, any of the royals, these kind of things happen. People are saying, oh, it's doctored and et cetera. So I didn't pay that much attention to it until I saw um, the news flash that the photo editors had actually pulled the picture and at that point then you start to say okay there's something not good going on here in terms of PR and, and crisis comms and although she's been out of action for quite a while I would still say their palace or Kensington Palace are still in crisis comms mode especially because all of these additional things keep happening which is causing people to say more and more so that was definitely a bad moment when that photo got pulled um, by very reputable reputable um, mm. sort of places that were pulling that photo. Absolutely. What were your thoughts uh, why this photo was put out there then, first off? I mean, I think maybe that's the other thing. Did that photo need to go out for Mother's Day? The palace had said that there'd be no more word from her until after Easter when she'd finished her mm -hmm. recovery. But no one was waiting for a photo in that sense of Mother's Day. I think everyone was it's just kind of gone a bit quiet. So I think the fact that the photo didn't need to go out, probably, and then it did go out and then it got pulled, um, leaves many more questions rather than answers. And I think that someone's made a bit of a boohoo somewhere in terms of putting that photo out and one that had been edited at that. And, um, you know, I guess it's always interesting to think that someone who is really quite poorly um, has time to be editing photos. I must admit, editing photos is something I don't dabble in because um, of what we saw. But yeah, I think it was just, it's a storm that didn't need to be created, I think. And the Daily Mail has pictures of her going in a car with William today. And I think there's this big effort to show that she's okay or that she's around but not really saying she's okay and not really giving much information so i think all of it's actually deepening the mystery rather than solving it in anyone's mind yeah absolutely because you mentioned the daily mail and i was going to bring that up it is the daily mail that seems to have a photograph of her in the car with prince william today um so why did they do that if she's not going to make an appearance at the commonwealth we knew she wasn't making an appearance till easter why today it feels like sometimes maybe there's a moment where you just stop digging and I think this might be the appropriate moment um, when actually if she's not around until after each then she's not around and we accept that she's not around. The Commonwealth Service does get a lot of attention. I was at um, Harry and Meghan's last one and I remember, you know, all the press are outside, all the cameras, all the clicking. So to put her in a car with her face turned away and then she doesn't actually turn up at the service, where does she get dropped off? Where does she go? What is going on? I think in the end, sometimes actually it's best um, ultimatums are best given once. So she's not coming back out to Easter and let that stand as it was rather than this drip, drip feed, as I said, that just adds another question. So where does she go? What is she doing? Why did she come out in that car today? What are they trying to prove? And I think this is the, someone said earlier, you know, they're picking at everything. This is the flip side of wanting good press, wanting to be in the headlines, wanting to be in the news coverage, wanting people to know why you're a good thing from the country. The flip side is you can't just then disappear because then people are asking questions on the reverse of that, which is what I think they don't want. Can I ask you a dumb question? Do you think Kate edited that photo? She said she did. <laughs> and, I, and I would like to think that she's been somewhat honest. Um, 
you know, from the things that were apparently incorrect about the editing, I would say it wasn't a professional Photoshopper that did it, whether it was her or not, who knows. But I think if you hire someone to do professional Photoshopping, normally as in most magazine titles or covers, it, it looks kind of seamless, really. Although some things will always look a bit odd and out of proportion because, you know, our bodies are fluid things, the way they move. She said she did it. So she said she did it. We have to believe that she did it. Um, but again, it, it's just adding to that mystery in an unhelpful way. There's always been this love-hate relationship between the royal family and the press. What do you feel this, you know, incident does to that relationship? I actually would say maybe it's somewhat damaging to this invisible contract mm. that people like to talk about, about them being in this together and kind of briefings and stories. I think like with any relationship, when it's going one way for a long time and then someone suddenly turns off the tap, well, things can get a little bit cranky. And I think you've seen on places like X and Royal Reporters kind of wading into this in a way that you maybe wouldn't have seen 12 months ago saying, you know, where is she and why have we been misled and why is she photoshopped? you know, these these photos. And I think the big thing really that is kind of a big tear in that relationship for me is that photo then being pulled and actually photo agencies saying, hang on, this photo has been manipulated more than we would expect. Actually, we need a, need a verification of this. We can't run this. Mm. You can't now run this. And I think that is probably a big split in the trust that maybe some of the Royal Rota had in their ability to get stories, get information, be first. And this is very tight. You know, sometimes you hear a bit of titters, some gossip somewhere. There's nothing. This has been a total, you know, a dark ops in that sense. So I think what that maybe does is say that the relationship may not recover back to where it was. But who knows? A new exclusive when she's back and maybe they'll all be best friends again. Yeah, Janelle's always up for one of those exclusives too. Janelle Aldred, <laughs> uh, always lovely having you on the program. Thank you.